Welcome back. Before the break, we asked what the first ship to ever call at the Port of Long Beach delivered. In 1911, the SS Iowa offloaded some 280,000 feet of redwood lumber at the harbor's municipal pier. A humble beginning, considering that the port now moves about $100 billion in cargo annually. Next up, an update on the Gerald Desmond Bridge replacement project. Recently approved unanimously by the Long Beach Board of Harbor Commissioners, the new $1 billion bridge will not only improve traffic flow, safety and vessel navigation, but will also provide 4,000 jobs per year during the five-year construction period. Let's take a look. The Gerald Desmond Bridge a connector for commuters and a vital link for the movement of our nation's cargo to and from the port of Long Beach. For more than 40 years, this steel-tied arch bridge has served as a critical structure connecting the port of Long Beach to the 710 freeway. Congress designated it as part of the National Highway System and the Federal Strategic Highway Network. There is no doubt about its importance to not only Long Beach, but to California and our entire nation. But now, major decisions must be made. Move ahead with costly maintenance projects to keep the bridge operating as is, or replace it to improve safety and accommodate future traffic for downtown Long Beach and the port. Most of the U.S. highway system is facing this same challenge, maintain or plan for the future. The Gerald Desmond Bridge will continue to see more traffic as international trade increases and the population of downtown Long Beach grows. Currently, about 75% of the vehicles that travel the bridge are commuters. Already, traffic needs to be rerouted through neighboring streets when a serious accident occurs on the bridge. No shoulders or emergency lanes exist to help accommodate the clearing of accidents or disabled vehicles blocking traffic flow over the bridge. And while traffic going over exceeds the bridge's designed capacity, ship traffic going under the bridge is also limited. At 156 feet, the current bridge is barely adequate for today's giant ships and too low for the future generations of ships that will soon be calling on the port of Long Beach. Most of the new cleaner cargo ships need 165 to 180 feet of clearance to reach the port terminals beyond the bridge. Without a higher clearance, future business and job growth is limited for those facilities. As the Gerald Desmond Bridge approaches the end of its useful life, its physical condition is deteriorating. While the bridge remains safe for motorists today, the port would need to invest $100 million in major maintenance projects in the coming years to keep the bridge safe. However, maintenance alone would not improve safety or meet the needs of the future. In fact, in 2001, Caltrans gave the bridge a low sufficiency rating and designated it as needing replacement. The time has come to replace the Gerald Desmond Bridge. A new cable stayed bridge will have six lanes for traffic and with shoulders or emergency lanes for safety, traffic won't have to be rerouted through neighboring streets every time there's an accident or breakdown on the bridge. The grade of the new bridge will be less steep than the current bridge, meaning vehicles won't have to accelerate as much to drive over the bridge, creating less air pollution. While the priority is traffic and safety improvements, the bridge's design will also create a higher clearance for traffic going under the bridge. The 200-foot clearance will accommodate the next generation of ships. The port terminals beyond the bridge won't be limited by ship size, supporting job growth as our nation's demand for trade recovers. The construction of the new Gerald Desmond Bridge will have a tremendous economic impact to Southern California. The bridge's construction will generate thousands of jobs over the life of the project and an estimated $2.8 billion in economic activity for the area. Federal, state, and local funds will provide the $1.1 billion needed to construct the new Gerald Desmond Bridge. Construction will begin in 2010, and completion is expected in 2016. 
the existing bridge will remain in place until the new bridge opens to traffic. The replacement of the Gerald Desmond Bridge is a must do for our community. By building the new Gerald Desmond Bridge, the Port of Long Beach and its partners will be able to replace aging infrastructure, create jobs, accommodate future economic activity, and improve a vital lifeline for the port and downtown Long Beach. A new bridge connects us to our future. The design for the new Gerald Desmond Bridge is certainly impressive and underscores the port's continued commitment to build the best, most efficient, and greenest port in the world. In our next story, we're going to see the Port of Long Beach through the eyes of high school seniors as they participated in the Odyssey Senior Project. But first, a short break. Don't go away. <laughs> 